Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here and welcome back to another video. And this video is going to be my second My Gear video and this video is going to be focused on cameras and microphones. And so let's just start it off with the main camera that I use all the time, my Canon T3i. And now I'm going to use my other camera that I'm going to talk about in a little bit to actually show you guys a T3i. And so uh, this is my Canon T3i as you can see um, underneath this one softbox. And this is a DSLR, it can shoot 1080p um, along with other various formats such as 720p. And uh, it's what I use for pretty much all of my videos here on this channel. Every now and then I'll use uh, my uh, Canon PowerShot that I'm using right now, but that's pretty much it. Um, this is a good camera for people who wanna get started with DSLRs who are interested in both photography and video. If you're gonna be just shooting video only on YouTube, you might wanna to steer towards the actual video cameras, but a lot of people like the way DSLRs look. I do, um, they really give you that sharp image. And so uh, I might change over to a regular video camera down the road, or I might just stick with DSLRs. I don't know for sure yet, but I'm very happy with the Canon T3i. And so next I wanna talk about this little camera. This is the Canon PowerShot ELF, ELPH, I call it ELF. A 110 HS and is a very little pocket camera. It shoots 1080p and other various formats. Um, and actually there is a newer version. I'm pretty sure it's the ELPH330. I think that's what it is. But for some reason when I was looking on Amazon, I bought this model and it's the older version and it's more expensive. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention anyways. Uh, that's not important, uh, but I'm sure the next version up is a little bit better. Uh, this shoots decent 1080p video and, and good light. Um, of course, in this scenario, it shoot great video, but in low light, it does get pretty grainy. And then sometimes it has a very hard time focusing. And I've actually had some clips ruined um, in my vlogs because I'm holding the camera out here. And if you're holding the camera out in front of you, you can't see what's going on in the viewfinder. And I've had some clips that are just completely out of focus and they never do focus. And so that was one issue I have with this camera. It kind of annoys me sometimes. Uh, but for the price that I paid, I can't complain too much because it's relatively cheap. I'll put all these links uh, for all these products that I got on Amazon down in the description below. But it makes a solid little vlog camera. And I would suggest it the ELPH line for a vlog camera because they do pretty good at what they say they're going to do. And so that's all I have for cameras. I pretty much just have the Canon T3i and the Canon PowerShot. And so now let's talk about microphones. And this guy right here, he's pretty bulky. Uh, this is actually the Blue Snowball. And this is technically my first YouTube microphone. And actually my first microphone I ever used for any of my videos was actually a Guitar Hero USB microphone. Who would have guessed? Some people say it's not really worth the money. Um, from my experience, I really haven't used anything else in the similar product range or price range. Um, I think it's worth the money that I spent. Um, this is a omni. This is an omnidirectional microphone, and so it's going to pick up a lot of the sounds surrounding you in the room, and that could be a good thing or a bad thing. If you're in a quiet environment, it's not a big deal at all. It's fine. Works just great. If you're a loud environment, you have stuff going on outside, construction outside, people jumping or up and around on the floor above you, it's not going to work as well because you're going to hear all that stuff in the video. Um, but I use this video whenever I'm stream. Or this video, I'm having a little trouble today. Uh, I use this microphone whenever I stream on Twitch. It works just fine. I mean, I think it makes a very nice starter microphone on YouTube. Next up, I have the Rode Video Mic, and this is a shotgun microphone because you know, like a shotgun, it kind of looks like a gun. Um, take off the sleeve, uh, and you have the actual microphone here. And wherever you point this microphone, that's where it's going to pick up the audio. And so this is very useful on sets if you just want to pick up whatever you're pointing it at. You don't want to pick up room noise. Um, in and of itself, the microphone's pretty good. Um, it's a little bassy, it picks a little too many tones and bass tones up in my voice and I usually have to EQ it later and take out some of that bass because it gets very rumbly. Uh, but it's not bad. Um, if I'd go and do it over again, I'd probably get the Rode VideoMic Pro because it has a decibel boost that you can also help use with your T3i or any other DSLR because mic inputs on DSLRs tend to buzz a little bit. And whenever I use this to plug directly into my DSLR, it buzzes. Um, but that's not this microphone's fault. That's a DSLR issue. But this microphone is powered by a 9-volt battery, and it has a mount. It comes with a mount. slides right on top of your DSLR or any other rig you want to put it on. And it connects to whatever device you want to plug it into via a 3.5-millimeter jack. And last, but certainly not least, we have the Blue Spark. And I'll pick up my Canon PowerShot to show you guys. Um, this is the microphone, come on now, focus, don't prove me wrong about your good abilities and good light. Um, this is the microphone that I use now for pretty much all of my videos. Um, my Let's Plays videos, I use the Blue Spark. 
but most of these videos now I'm using the Blue Spark and it is just a very nice microphone. I can't say enough good things about this microphone. If you want to check out my full review, I'll post it in the link. Or I'll post a link of it in the description below. Um, this just gives such really deep and rich sounds and it's not too bassy with my voice. It sounds just right. And um, I'll show you guys, just you know, give you a little bit of tour of the microphone. Um, semi uh, kind of old fashioned design uh, with it kind of sitting on the stand like that. I haven't been anything but pleased with this microphone. Uh, I really can't say anything bad about it. Um, it just works perfect for whatever, whatever I needed to use it, use it for. And I haven't used anything better myself um, in terms of my YouTube videos. It's what I'm using right now, what I plan to use for the time being. Uh, maybe someday I'll upgrade to another microphone. I don't know when, but right now I'm enjoying this. And it is an XLR connection and it is a condenser microphone, which means you will need some kind of audio interface such as the Blue Icicle or an audio interface like my Audio Technica. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Audio interface. I just I'm drawing blanks on all these names for my equipment. It's terrible, um, but I'll cover that also in a future video. But you're going to need some kind of interface to give it phantom power as well as plug in the XLR because XLR microphones will not plug directly into your computer. You need some kind of device or interface to meet it halfway, and then you can plug that in interface into your computer. And so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you want to see any of the gear that I have highlighted in this video, I'll put the links down in the description below. Um, we look forward to the next My Gear video. I'm going to be going over audio interfaces, things like the Tascam, which I have plugged in over here. I can't really show you uh, because actually, yeah, I can. The cord is long enough. Um, I'm actually recording my Blue Spark audio right onto the Tascam. Um, I'll show you some of my other stuff that I have, my Lilliput monitor, the boom mic stand, and all kinds of other stuff. And so that's for the next video. This video is over and done with. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave it a thumbs up. Also subscribe. And make sure you check me out on all my social links. That are all in the description below. And so thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. <sighs> Finally over. I'm having such trouble in this video. Calling things by the wrong names, mixing up my words more than usual. Good grief.